Good evening. Surgeons at Royal Papworth Hospital say a new machine which keeps lungs alive outside of the body could transform the number of people getting transplants. The hospital in Cambridgeshire is the first in the UK to use the system. It uses donor lungs which might otherwise be discarded and improves their condition. It's already saved the life of a patient from Northampton. Our health correspondent Nikki Fox reports. These lungs might usually be rejected for transplantation, but because of this machine, they're being kept alive and their health restored outside the body. The lungs have been perfused and ventilated for over an hour and a half. Uh, we're very happy with their function and likely we will go ahead. This patient is the first in the UK to benefit, 49-year-old Daniel Evans-Smith. There was conversations this time last year of uh, some of the hospitals were saying I needed to talk about palliative care because if I didn't get the lung transplant, the likelihood was that I wouldn't survive much longer with the way things were going. 81% of lungs aren't good enough for transplantation. It's hoped the machine could prevent so many organs from being wasted. So how are they kept alive? Well, the lungs are placed in an incubator at room temperature for up to six hours, mimicking the environment of the human body. They're connected to a ventilator which forces air in and out, while oxygen and nutrients are pumped through the lungs. Tests are then carried out to make sure the organs work well. We are hoping that it will increase transplant activity by 30% because at present, we have up to one in three people dying on the waiting list. Do you think Daniel would still be alive if it wasn't for this machine? Absolutely not, sadly. So I think we managed to cut Daniel in the very last minute before he would have become untransplantable. Before the transplant, Daniel was taken to hospital with a collapsed lung five times. Keep going until you've completely emptied your lungs. He spent a total of six months there as he was so ill. He developed COPD despite giving up smoking 12 years ago. His operations changed his life. I can walk further, I can now do hills without having to think about it. I don't have to rest so often when I'm out walking or moving around town. I'm miles ahead of where I was. Despite law changes in 2019, which made it easier to donate organs, there's a shortage. It's hoped this new technique will make the most of the lungs that are available, giving others a chance for a better life. Nikki Fox, BBC Look East. A former family liaison officer with